Hi there, this is Darren O'Neill from Darren's Tech Tutorials and DarrenO'Neill.eu. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to create um, a SQL Server 2019 um, instance on AWS. So SQL Server 2019 isn't available on RDS yet, so you need to create it using EC2. Okay, so to get started here, I've logged into my console. I'm just going to click on EC2 just to reload the screen here. Okay, I want to click Launch Instance, and then I'll click Launch Instance. I'm just going to search for SQL Server 2019. Okay, and we can see this is the one I want to take. It is Windows, uh, Microsoft Windows Server 2019 with SQL Server 2019 standard. That's perfect for me. So I'm going to select this. And you can see you're kind of, um, you can only select certain instances based on um, SQL Server being installed. So I'm going to select this T3A, extra large, that's the cheapest one. I'm going to click next to configure instance details. I'm going to leave all this as the default. I'm going to make sure it does get a public IP. Um, so it says, yeah, it will assign public IP. Perfect. So let me just click next to add storage. Uh, 50 gigs is fine. It's only going to be a test. So let me just give this a name. And I'll just give it my initials. And I'll call it Don SQL Server 2019. Okay, let me click the security group and I'll um, create a new security group and I'll just call it my initials again and say home access. Okay, so I'm just going to change these. It's going to say my IP and my IP again just to lock it down so I can get in over these ports to the server. I'm going to click review and launch. I'm going to click launch. Now, if you don't have a key, you, you can create one, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose an existing key pair because I have one here. Um, but if you want to create one, just come down and click create and give it a name and then you have your key pair. But for me, I have this Dawn key Fran. So I acknowledge that I have it. I'm going to click launch instance. All right, so we can see this will begin to launch here now. So what I'll do is I'll pause the video while um, this is booting up. Okay, so we can see now that my server looks like it is ready to go. So what I'm going to do is going to right click on it. I'm going to click get Windows password. So I'm just going to have to look for um, where I keep my keys. So I keep them in my OneDrive. I keep them in AWS. Let me just find them. Keys. And I'm looking for Don Fran key. Okay, let me open that up. And let me just decrypt our password. So let me just copy this to the clipboard here. And I'm going to open RDP. So let me just open an RDP window here. Okay, I'm just going to note what our public IP is. And I can see it down here. So I'm going to type in 18. Dot one eight five dot ninety dot two two seven. Okay, and let me see if I can connect to this, which I can. I'm just gonna use a different account. I'm just gonna use type dot backslash for the local account. I'm gonna type in administrator. Let me just double check the spelling on this. So D M I N I S T R A T O R. And then let me paste the password in. Okay, and I'll click OK. Okay, and this looks good. We're going to get connected here to to our SQL Server machine. So this should begin to boot, and uh, this should begin to log in for us now. So let me just pause this while the login is happening. Okay, this looks good. Looks like we're logging in here. So let me just just make sure everything it looks as we expected. So let's see if we got our SQL Server tools, and we have Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. Perfect. So. Um, let me just pause this again. So this will probably take a minute just to uh, start up for us here. Okay, so we're looking good. So it looks like uh, SQL Server is booting up. So let me just click connect here and we should hopefully begin to connect into our SQL Server instance. And there we are. So we've now installed SQL Server uh, test 19. It's actually standard edition on AWS and EC2. Again, the reason why it's on EC2 is because this isn't available on RDS. But if you do have a need to install SQL Server 2019, this is the best way to do it on AWS. Um, please do like and comment if you found it useful. And um, if you have any issue following along, please do comment below. And if I can help, I certainly will. Thank you for watching.